What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on Black Desert, and so today we're going to be starting up 2021 character, um, Anova. So, I don't really know how, um, any of the new characters work. So, like, Nova, Sage, um, a lot of the ones that came out, Guardian, the ones that came out after I stopped. So, we're going to play Nova. Looked like the character. I like her Awakening. I don't really like this version of Nova, but her Awakening version... Uh, I'm looking forward to getting to use, and so yeah, that's gonna be it's gonna be our 2021 character. I don't know what that entails, but it's 2021 character. We're still gonna do Sork videos and whatnot because I want to continue to try to progress her towards it. But we'll see what's new in 2021 since I last played, and we're gonna play. Through, so we're gonna play through this essentially. Um, I'm gonna try to do a 2021 uh, Fantasy Star Online kind of get prep for New Genesis type of playthrough as well for uh fantasy star online so we'll have all sorts of various goodies on the channel i think i'm going to restrict idle down to once a week uh or whenever i don't have a mmo video prepared i can do an idle video or something like that so let's get into this we're going to be progressing this character we're at the very start of the game obviously i did buy an outfit because we do that for every character i play on this game um i did have pearls left on the account so it cost like five bucks because i had to put some in and i had a coupon so i'm going to zoom ahead a little bit into something a little bit more exciting than the opening little like tutorial thing here so when we come back in we will be progressed a little bit um probably go i might go all the way to red nose because i can pretty much speed run all the way to red nose um and then yeah so the beginning part here probably going to be a lot quicker than normal i guess i don't i don't know and then we'll have different like farming because there's different spots where we got to farm and whatnot I want to do it a little bit more prepared and a little bit better than I was doing, like, on um, the other characters. I don't want to, like, rush through it, but we I don't want to take, like, a decade to do some of the stuff in this game. So, yeah. I'm going to figure out where, and when I come back, we'll be wherever I figured out um, where I wanted to start at. Probably Red Nose. That's probably where we'll do it, and then we'll just zoom through a lot of the bosses here in this in this first episode why is it popping up my attendance rewards now i've been on for like 20 minutes working on audio for this so all right let me stop going on about nothingness i'll see you guys in just a moment all right so i apologize for the little bit of audio desync on the first video i've been having some problems with obs it's been messing up whenever i reload into uh it like change my settings don't work so i have to have a big offset on my mic and my webcam to match it up with the pvr and the mic and the webcam are off like 200 milliseconds but every time i reload obs it changes them it doesn't change them but it like changes the offset so it's like really weird so what i've decided is we want to get to like some newer content this stuff here is kind of older we've seen this i've played it a million times so we're gonna turn this into like a little bit of a, a little bit of a speed run, I guess. So I had one billion gold sitting or silver sitting in my thing. So I went ahead and bought Often Tet's Radiant Morning Star and Noiver Quaratum Try because yeah, we're just gonna try to breeze through this opening part, get to level 50s plus 50s, and then we'll go from there. So that's what we're doing. I also want to get leveled up so that we can have some skills. Because the skills right now are actually good. I kind of like the skills, but they definitely need to be upgraded. And so we're just going to try to grind through here. I'll grind up in different areas and I'll stop and inform you guys. So that like like, like we're doing now, which is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to stop at various points and we'll go over what different stuff. We'll, we'll fight a little bit, level up. And we'll go from there. I think that's the best. I mean, obviously, you can buy your way with a weapon to a certain point. I think it's like mid-50s. Once you get to mid-50s, the weapon is no longer enough to kind of get you there. But I think, you know, the whole point... We got to get to, like, some of the later game stuff. The, this beginning stuff is still the same, as far as I can tell. Nothing has really changed here. So we just need to get our character leveled up, get to the get to the mid, at least the mid game, um, finish the the like initial black spirit quest, 
and um, get to Awakening. We need to get to Awakening at least, so that's why I'm doing this. Get to Awakening, and then we'll, we'll go from there. And I need to get... We'll have to grind up some money, because I'll need to get the... Um, I'll need to get better a better Awakening weapon when we get to there. Not too concerned about it now, but we'll have... Why did it not do my dash? We'll have to do it eventually, but right now, not a big deal. I can... I think 300 mil in this game's economy at this point is not ridiculous, but we'll see. Kind of all depends. Because I think that's about what I'll have to do to get all leveled up. Because the armor that it gives you throughout the game for various things is not all that terrible. So I think we can we can do with some of the, the basic armors of the game. Until until we have to, then then we'll worry about it. But for right now we we're perfectly fine with some of this stuff. Cause at some point I'll go I'll go farming for some of the other what am I trying to say? For some of the uh, for some money making stuff and we'll we'll go through and get that all taken care of. If I didn't one shot I probably I would combo because I've been working on some of the combos for this game. And I kinda or for this character and I, I do like them. But I feel like we need to get to like progressed at least a little bit here. So I decided to buy the weapons. We have the we have the gold. I have adequate stuff on my Sork to progress her when we're playing on that character. So I don't feel like I need the billion. And um, I don't know how... Ex it's going to get expensive to gear two characters. But that's alright. We'll figure it out as we go. We'll, get, we'll obviously get rewards from level up. And we'll get rewards from... Um... Call it. We'll get rewards from just grinding, obviously, normally. And so I think we should have enough. We get our daily login, which is... My daily login's not terrible. Obviously, it could be higher because I don't have, like, one singular high character to help boost it. But my daily login is not terrible. So that'll help contribute to saving up some money because, obviously, we're... I would like to... It's going to take us a handful of episodes, because at certain points like this, I need to stop and grind up a level or two, So, which I'll do in the video. We'll do all the like combat-y stuff in the video. And I'm going to work on the audio for the actual PBR portion of this for fighting, um, so that we can have better audio for that going forward. I don't want to have like no audio and just have it be my voice. Because this game, actually, the audio for actual, like, playing through it is not overly loud. It's either, like, really loud or it's not loud at all. So I'll have to adjust and we'll go from... We'll, we'll, we'll make it right. Like I say in every first episode of everything, just give me give me a little bit of time, test the audio, get used to it, and we'll, we'll get it all. We'll get it all good to go. Okay, so... Staff of eight. I probably should have just. I probably should have completed that. I forgot that it doesn't straight go into red nose. It, it does that first. I'm still trying to figure out some of the the combos with her. So like, there's the step back, and then there's the shield bash. I'm gonna save up because we one shot. I'm gonna try to save up a little bit of my skill points and whatnot so that we can break down and figure out exactly what skills we want to have and whatnot. Because I don't want to just start spending them now and then have to then get used to like a skill and then have to reset it. So off the start here, we're gonna do it. We're, we'll do it like this and then we'll we'll get there. We'll get to how we want to do it eventually. See, I need to. The one thing I need to practice right now is getting it to do the dash before I go into the actual attack after the dash, because a lot of the times I'm doing the attack without dashing, and then it's, that's just pointless. But that is a nice... I don't know if they added that to every character, because that was the hard part about Sork, is you had to, like, take the stick and flick it up to get her to dash forward. So if I could just hit a button instead of having to flip the stick up, it made her combos kind of, it made some of her combos like really hard to do. Because it's it's hard to get that that flick down every single time perfectly. Okay, so complete that. 
I think, yeah, we can fight Red Nose now. I think we have to... Do I have to... I have to accept it? Yeah, I do. Okay. So we need to meet Tiny Nose real quick over here, and then we can fight Red Nose. So we got to 15, which is good. I'm not too concerned about the levels until we get to... Um, Bloody Monastery. I want to take the Bloody Monastery route because that's one of the best places to farm levels early game. I honestly thought about not doing the quests and just leveling up by farming, but honestly, the quests give you some decent stuff, and they level you up faster because you do get XP for doing them, and it lets you kind of daze off and not be heavy focused on um, grinding. And it gives me something to do for the videos. That's not just watching me grind for 30 minutes. Because watching me go from location 1 to location 2 to location 3, I might, if we finish this and I don't end up like liking this, or we finish Sork or whatever we, we do, I might just do one with like no or with Sage. Because that's probably the next one I'd do. I know I said C like that and dash again. Like dash once. Okay. Should, like, two-shot him. I'm actually interested with try how quickly we kill him. I should probably get on my main and feed my pets, because I don't think... I'm guessing they're hungry, because I, I didn't feed them when I got back on there, and then... Yeah, I'm just, I'm just very much assuming that they're going to be hungry. And I think I two-hit him. I think I two hit him, because you can't deal damage for a while until he like starts moving, so I well, think I two hit him. But yeah, that's going to be a lot of this early, is just two hitting and one hitting stuff. Trying to get the quick level ups and uh, progress, because I want to get to like the, the harder stuff and the better stuff that's later on in the game. What I'm not looking forward to is Desert Quest. Those blow. I'm just going to be honest. Those blow. Um, those are just... Those are just not a good experience. <laughs> those are just a really not good experience. I remember those were like the last things I did before I retired from Black Desert for a year. And, oh buddy, that was just, that was something. That was something to, to behold. Something to behold. So, all right. So we got that all completed. I think we'll advance. I'll probably come back when we're at the, the Goblin place. I don't, that's not too far away, but... We'll skip over the, we'll skip over the, like, Altanova. Is it Altanova? Is it? What? I did figure out where the map was and whatnot. Um, no, Velia. Velia. We'll go to Velia. I'll complete all the Velia stuff, and then we will, um, we'll reconvene at the next farm spot. Okay, so it is time to get a little bit of levels going here and smoke Gaeth. Um, get the second boss out of the way. I chose the little bit more simple, um, why did all of a sudden just get dark like that? That was really weird transition to nighttime. But, um, what was I going to say? <laughs> we got to do a little bit of leveling here before we go actually fight Gaia, because we're only 16. I think we can get, I'm going to get to 17, I think. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. We get enough experience from these guys to get a 17. And then, then we'll progress past that. Actually, was surprised they did add some new, um, some new like quests. Now, was it the greatest quest ever? No, it was a lot of dialogue and, and reading. Only reason I didn't do it is because I mean that's not interesting for me to do it to show you guys. So that's why I didn't do it. But there was a new quest that I hadn't seen before, so that was interesting. And then this is. This is a little bit different. Um, usually you had to, like, do a couple of things to find, to do Gaeth. Um, it wasn't, like, anything too difficult. It was, like, um, destroy this and destroy that and and destroy a couple of these towers here and these totems there. But you had to do that before you could just straight up fight Gaeth. So let's head, let's start heading over here to Gaeth. We'll fight anything that's in between us and Gaia. Kill you. Kill you. I just dashed, I just dashed through him. Okay, let's get over to Gaia. 
We'll finish that up. And then that will probably... I'll probably do it for this video by the time we get to, to 17 here. And I'll probably see... I'll probably see how close we get to how much we get at 18. We might we might grind up to 18 still too in this video. This is the good cave, right? I think there's like a decent cave to like level kill. Is this a get down in there? Ah, uh, no, actually this is not. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Ah, uh, actually. Let's go down this way. Because I'm perfectly happy if there's like a nice... I'm going to put this away because I can run a little quicker. Um, no. Nothing there. I mean, there's, there's enemies down here, but this is... I mean, three at a time. Should probably be killing these, but I just want to kind of explore. Because I don't think I ever come down here. And of course, someone is mowing their yard today. Okay, let's get this out. Let's fight. We gotta, we gotta kill some stuff. Get some, get some experience going here, because we can definitely get to 18. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get to 18. Okay, okay that didn't do the attack I wanted it to do. Hello, do the attack. Oh my gosh, I wanted it to do the sweeping axe thing. That's a little bit longer range not doing it. Okay. Come over here. Kill these guys. That actually has some range on it. Actually surprised with that range. Kill that goblin. I mean, this cave is not bad. Why won't it let me turn my camera over here? It's not bad. It's just not anything crazy. What? How did my... How did it miss that? You can't destroy the goblin torches. I mean, it's... It's a decent... It's a decent place to farm, but... The... The mobs are kind of... Spread out. They're a little spread more spread out than I would like. Especially, this character is very slow. Like, mob to mob moving. And I'm hoping there's some skills that I can pick up later that help with that. But right now... It's kind of slow, moving mob to mob, that aren't, like, tightly packed together. Alright, so we're at 85%. We're definitely going to get there. We are, yeah, we're definitely going to get there. Especially by the time we get over to Grusha. Could just hang out here and murder these guys over and over again. What's our percentages at... Eh... And the percentage, this is this is probably not worth farming these guys for. Especially at this stage. I really don't, I, I'll farm again when we get to like mid, mid, um, mid 30s probably. I don't think, the next area is not a good farming area. Uh, if it's still like that castle area, that's not a good farming area. That area kind of blows. So I won't do it there. Probably the next time we farm is going to be, um, what's it called? The, um, oh my gosh, I can't remember what it's called. Put this away in Autopath and I'll look. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Bloody Monastery, I remembered it as I was trying to put that away, yeah. Bloody Monastery is probably next. I mean, I know it's way down here. Actually, no, not Bloody Monastery is next. Castle Ruins is next. That's probably the next farm spot. Because after we finish Gaieth up, right, we will progress into Hydel, and then from Hydel we'll progress out. So, yeah, either Castle Ruins or Swamp Nagas. I prefer the Nagas over the Castle Ruins, but they're both equally equally good. So that's what we'll probably start. We'll do Nagas and Foggins next, and then, yeah, we'll probably get to like 32, 33 in the next episode. Uh, which will be good. I want to probably, I want to try to get to like Awakening in five or six episodes. So hopefully we can do that. I know today was a little slower because the level up's a little, the farm is a little bit slower here at the beginning of the game. And then once we can get to like 30, the mid 30s, there's a, there's a huge push mid third, like mid, low 20s to 30s. Then there's a big push at mid 30s. 
me take a look. Because... Because then... Because that episode will probably be all... Next episode will all be this stuff down here. And then... We progress... Where's the 30s? I can't remember where the 30s are. Oh, yeah. We get the... We get the Karatos... Or the Kuratos at... 30s then in the 40s we get this stuff over here which is fairly good the stuff gets better as we advance and then the 50s we get hex sanctuary we get um we get the fisherman's camps so yeah mid 50s is actually good then we the the late 50s we get where is it or mid 50s i guess we get the spots over here right um I don't even know where my spots are anymore. We know I love the base down there, but yeah, right down here. Here's where we get from 50 or like, yeah, this is like all the way to 56 is, is the abandoned iron mine down there. That's my, that's my favorite place. I think there's like two or three different spots at abandoned iron mine that I really love. So, um, but that doesn't necessarily mean I won't go to bash Bashim's base because I do really like that one too. But Hopefully we can get this done five six episodes. We'll be at awakening and then we can start, you know grinding away I think what I'm gonna do is two of these videos for every one sork video until they're about even then we'll go We'll go back and forth But for right now with sork um, With this being the new one and us kind of trying to get back into it I think getting back into it with the with just the base story and grinding back up is the way to do it instead of hopping into my sork. So I'm going to take the sork a little bit slow for now and uh, we'll hop back into we'll hop back into it full force once we get this character kind of on not even playing field because the sork is level 60, but once we definitely get this to awakening, we will definitely probably even them up and make them about about even on the on the on the timeline. So, I think, let me, we might actually just do this here because, let me get over here. Because the next, the next one is the castle, right? And I'm not, like, unless they changed it, I would have loved, or made the castle better. If they made the castle better, that'd be great. But I have a feeling they did not, because this is not any different than it was. Let's grab this. Can I, can I pick it up? Hello? Okay. So actually, this didn't take as long as I thought. I thought we would end the episode here, but let's grind up to 19 and then I'll call it a day. So we'll just, we'll, we'll do some progression here, but there's obviously enemies coming up in the castle that will help us level up to 19. Because these guys actually, I mean, it's not crazy XP. But it's also not terrible XP. I mean, yeah, it, it's like a half a percent or a third or a fourth of a percent. Somewhere between like a fourth and a half for each kill you get. The movement of this character is just, just not, not the greatest. Probably will get better and I'll get more used to it and I'll get the speed down. But right now it's, it's a little, it's a little, it's a little iffy. So hopefully, let me get these quests out of the way so that we can go... Okay. So let's go up here. Let's go into here. And we can fight and clear out. Because I think these guys will give us a little bit more experience. Let's go over here and I'll fight. I'll not... Oh, I'll kill these guys while we go in. But the inside is where I might get to. These guys are the first guys that really start um, chasing you down. Uh, well, I say that as he runs away. But they're the first guys that really, like, chase you down, hardcore chase you down. Yeah, these guys give, like, 3%. Yeah, they're good. One kill on these guys is 4%, so yeah. I... So get this. That got us to 19, like, real easy. Are they still... They're still giving it. Let's get to 20. Let's end the video off at 20. That gives us, like, a nice, even, baselined ending. What are you doing, buddy? And then we can start the next episode up. I'll probably start it up at the next boss. So I'll grind out a little bit on my own. And then we'll get to the next boss. And that's where I'll start the next episode. But yeah, we'll be able to 
me. The, the, the experience you get from up here is actually very good. There's just not a whole lot of enemies. You just gotta keep... They're like in clumps of one or two. Like this, there's five of them here, but they're all spread out all over the room. Right, so we're at 55, 58. I'm too far away for that to hit. And that didn't hit him, huh? 68. 71. These are all the enemies that I'll see here in a minute when I come up here to complete the main story, but this is the best spot right here is because there's three of them. There's a couple of spots throughout here where there's three, and I, I, I like that a little bit more, but... My depth perception in this game is terrible. I think I'm closer than I actually am. I gotta not get into the habit of just one spamming, because it's not gonna work forever. I'm gonna have to figure out a better way to do this eventually, but... I'm gonna have to figure out combos and whatnot, but for now... I want to say the next boss is not for a while. I don't think a boss happens here. I think you complete this and there's no boss. So I think the next boss is a ways away, which is fine. It's a it's some chunk of stuff I can get done off camera. I actually still get a ton of experience from these guys. Already up to 33%. And they still are giving 3%, which is kind of wild to me. I did not think they'd give this much. And it's kind of the w the reason you don't have to grind early game. There's some, like, once you get to the mid-30s, you do have to grind, like, that mid... Like, kind of, like, mid-game... Um, mid-game slots, but... Because you do get under-leveled. But here at the beginning, man, you get so much experience from just these random mobs. It's kind of crazy. So like we're already 47 or, or 55 47 55 of the way there 55 percent of the way there to the next level and i don't honestly feel like we killed that much but we'll get back to the good old-fashioned long grind here soon but that's gonna do it for the first episode we got 68 percent i'll clean up this area we'll get down to uh we'll get down to the better uh grind spots and we'll start the episode by Probably killing the boss, and then we'll we'll go chill at the grind spots, get some stuff done, get leveled up. Hopefully next episode we can actually... I know it sounds kind of a little ambitious, but I think we can probably get mid-late th mid 30s in the next episode. I I think. Uh, my, my timing might be off. I used to think I could do stuff faster than I could when I played this earlier, or a long time. So... We'll see. That's going to do it, guys. I won't ramble on today for too long. I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Probably this comes out Saturday. Probably might be tomorrow. Might do one of these tomorrow. It'll be tomorrow or Monday. So I'll catch you guys then. Peace.